All right, another car talk with Rio. Um, I have not watched porn in about six months. It's probably been close to that. I, I don't know the exact date, but about five or six months. And it is probably the longest I've ever gone without watching um, porn. And everybody on the internet knows, everybody that has a phone knows that porn is bad for you. Porn is bad for your mental health, your physical health, um, everything about yourself, especially as a man. I feel like it's more detrimental towards men and women, but I feel like it's it's equal, not, sorry, it's not equally detrimental, but it's more so from a man, just because men are more visual creatures. And I feel we thrive on that, that visual stimulation a little more than women do. Um, I have not watched porn for five or six months. Um, ever since I've, I actually, it actually took listening to Jordan Peterson to truly realize the extent of how much I'm damaging myself and my brain and my relationships with people to fully realize that. And it's, it's, it's really, I don't want to say enlightened because that's kind of a cringy term, but my relationships with people, my present everyday today life, um, my mental health, my physical health, I feel has gone up. My testosterone definitely has gone up. Um, my relationships have just been better. And it's, I, you, you don't realize what it does to you until you're of the absence of it. And I used to lie to people and say, I didn't watch it, you know, especially to women. Cause I feel like women judge you a certain way. If you say you watch it, um, but it's such a normal nowadays for people to watch it that people actually think you're lying when you say that you don't watch it. It's one, I think it's insecurity of men, you know, that are too weak to stop watching it. And two, I think it's just such a normal that people just kind of forgo it and say, oh, he's, you know, he's just cringy, it's, you know, self-development, everybody watches porn, it's okay. But you truly don't realize the effect it's having on your mental health when you are of the absence of it and see the benefits. I have never felt better, you know, my relationships with women and, and talking to them, being present in a conversation, not not thinking about, you know, sex all day or, or saying, you know, when can I just wank one off and, and get a quick one? Um, that has been so powerful to me. And just seeing that, the transition from, you know, sexualizing literally everything about yourself and, you know, all your dopamine comes from this one event that you get from your phone. You whip out your phone and experience the most pleasurable thing you can as a man, but you're programming yourself to actually watch two other people do it. You're actually not doing it yourself. You're watching two other people do it. And I was listening to Jordan, P Jordan Peterson that really like brought me out of this. And when he was talking about the detriments of, of pornography in your brain. And I am so thankful at the age of 21 years old, I was 20 at the time when I stopped watching it. But I am so thankful that as a 20 year old man, I will never watch it again because I realized how detrimental it is. And I still lay in my bed at night, you know, at late at night and of course you get the craving of course you do but it's the act of stoicism and reminding yourself of what a masculine man would do and actually believing yourself to be a, a masculine man that chooses to feel those temptations and those emotions and not act on them and that is so powerful and I, i'm so glad i know this now that 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 act of feeling that temptation and that emotion that belief and not giving into your emotion or your temptation and choosing to stray away from that for the betterment of yourself and others is great like that's what makes you strong. That's what makes you strong. That's the act of stoicism is feeling those temptation and those emotions, but choosing not to do that. Um, and also what really helped me, um, come out of that, come out of this is dramatize the event. I didn't, I guess I heard this from somebody, but I kind of like took this term and made it my own and really like thought about it. But for me, I can't do any mundane task or any like habit change if it's not dramatic for me. So for this habit to have happened, I thought about my future family. So not just me, right? Because we tend to put ourselves in the back burner. We tend to not take care of ourselves, but think about other people. I want a wife one day. I want a family. I want my wife to look up to me and respect me. I want my kids, my sons to look at me as a role model. I cannot do that if I'm watching pornography. I can't um, because I judge inherently other people who watch it you know, because it's not good for them. I know they're capable of more and better, better things. So I judge myself inherently and I can't be there for my wife and my kids if I don't have respect for myself. So I dramatized the event. I thought to myself, okay, my wife and my kids are going to suffer one day. My future soulmate is literally suffering right now and is going to suffer in the future from me watching pornography and continuing to watch pornography. Um, and that's something that like was really near and dear to me. I'm like, wow, I want to be the best version of myself for that somebody, you know, for that person when I grow old with. So 
I kind of, sorry, there's something on my steering wheel. I was just rubbing it. I'm kind of on sidetrack now, but anyway, um, just dramatize the event, you know, make it more about than make it more about you. Sorry. Make it less about you and more about other people. And I find that like when you make habits like that and dramatize the event and think about the future you and the, what the future you would want you to do right now in this present moment, there's like the world of difference and that makes you act, you know, and just think about your future life. So anyway, I'm going to stop, uh, you know, drawing this on, but just, just some, some more car thoughts with Rio pornography, pornography sucks much better life without it. Highly recommend it. So peace.